Hello gamers, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I had to relocate my video game collection into this new space in my house and I decided to go ahead and build custom shelves for one, to better fit my game collection, two, you know, bookshelves and media shelves are not the best way to always store your video games and they're kind of expensive and if you've got a small space that you want to utilize to the fullest, building custom shelves is the way to go. Um, one thing I'd recommend is if you can, uh, if you've got a miter saw like the one I'm using there, go ahead and get it. It'll help cutting in the long run. But you can definitely use just like a hand saw or a skill saw if you go on lying around. Now at the bottom of my shelves, you'll see that I built it up about four inches off of the floor. The reason for that is my game room is in the basement. God forbid, but if anything did happen and my basement uh, were to back up or get flooded slightly, that would at least give me a little bit of clearance to keep my collection off the floor. Now, one thing I would recommend is these spacers that I built. Basically what I did is I made two of these to fit into my shelves and what it allows me to do is like custom fit the shelves to the height that I want. I cut them both the same length and I also recessed my shelves about three quarters of an inch and you can see how the blocks are set up there to allow me to do that. So when I place the shelf in to get ready to nail it in, it's at the height I want and it's set back at just the right amount. Big time saver really cheap and easy way to make uh, the shelving be uh, a lot easier to put together by yourself and at the right space. To assemble my shelves I am using a brad nailer and an air compressor but you could definitely do this with a nail and hammer or uh, a Phillips screwdriver and some screws. Any of those methods would work I just find that the nailer and the uh, air compressor to be the faster method obviously if you have that option. Now here are my finished shelves they're all separate pieces so that I can get them in and out of the basement easily. For anyone that's interested, I used 1x6 boards around the frame, about $3 per 8 foot board. And then for the shelving itself, I used a 1x4 board, about $1.70. Now to paint them, I used this Rust-Oleum paint primer. Uh, it was about $3 a can. I went through about a dozen of them. It did add some cost to the project, but you could totally skip this step as the natural wood look works just fine as well. So here we are the next morning, my initial primer coat is dried and I've applied a second coat here to better fill in the paint on the shelves and we're setting them out to dry. Third and final coat, as you can see the coverage is pretty good on all these shelves. Um, now I didn't really do a lot of sanding or get the best quality wood, this is just stock lumber. So you're going to see, see some natural divots and stuff, but all in all, here's what it looks like fully assembled and put into the game room. Not bad, and it's a great way to totally utilize the space for your collection and make sure that you don't have any wasted shelving space. Highly recommend it. All in all, this cost me about $150. Keep in mind I already owned some of the tools, so I'm not including that cost, just materials. But if, uh, if you've got the drive and a little bit of know-how, highly recommend building some shelves. It's not too difficult, as you can see. And here's a sneak peek at what my game room looks like all completed. I'll have more on that coming up in a game room tour soon. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it.